Oh. Yeah, dude, there's a lot of moving parts. <laughs> dude. I, I think got I got it? it. I think I got it. You look very uncomfortable. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, dude, I think the main thing is that. <laughs> so, what do I do with my hands? <laughs> you have to get comfortable. That's the first oh, thing. Go. Dude, so, you can off. sit however you want. Oh, take your shoes off, guy. Take your shoes off. <laughs> what if we just sat like this? Oh. All right. Much better. I mean, we could sit like this. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> do you are you comfortable though? Yeah, look at me. All right, do, hold I, on. do I not look comfortable? You look very uncomfortable. Here, let me get you. I look fuck you, dude. Why? I got, I got you, boo. Well, sorry. Am I not allowed to cuss? You I, can I, say whatever you want, I bro. I cussed at you. Yeah, well, you're not allowed to cuss for like our own, for our friendship. You should flip that. Flip it on put it on the other side. <laughs> Did I get it? You're on the spectrum, you know that, right? Yeah, I know. I don't care. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so yeah, just get, bro. Now you're covering my face. Don't you want no, to see no, my no. face? No, no, I can see your face, oh. but I just want you to be. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So put your put your mouth close to the thing. This close? Sound good, huh? Dude, Sound yeah, good, <laughs> I like it. Is it weird hearing your own voice? Dude, I don't like it. <laughs> my voice sounds fuck. Pretty, First things, huh? Pretty gay. It's not gay. You don't have a gay no, voice. Really? It's. No. I feel like it's pretty high. See, like here, here's the thing, bro. It's like I get comfortable for me. But Dude, I'm telling you, I'm comfortable. You're why do cozy? you keep, why stop moving it? Okay, sorry. Because I'm like, I just want you to be cozy, dude. You're my best friend in the whole wide world. I just want you to be cozy. People would think we're assholes. We're just arguing with each other. Oh, this I mean, you oh, know. Fucking A, dude. Did you ruin it? You fucked it up, Eric. Oh man. Here, I'll just let you figure out why I do the intro. Oh, there you go, I got it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of You Must See. And today I have a very, 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 very special guest. Uh my best friend in the whole wide world. My best friend also uh hand, slash uh arguably my lover. It's not arguable. She's my lover, my best friend in the world. We and kissed once, <laughs> twice the same day. <laughs> my best friend in the whole wide world, Jose Peru, my brother. What's up, guys? What's up, buddy? <laughs> I was doing a, I was doing a pre-podcast thingy. You uh-huh. know, when I, if you even watch those, I well, when <laughs> when you like go live. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was watching on my way here. The one that you're watching, you're like, I'm on my way, and you weren't on your way. <laughs> I had just walked in my apartment. You pissed me off. I still had to rinse my ass and everything. <laughs> Did you take a shower? Everyone, stop why I stay. Dude, I told you. I was like, you should take a shower or whatever. And you're like, no, I'm going to be in 30, 30 minutes. And I thought 30 minutes. And here we go. I said I'd be done in 30 minutes. Well, and then you have to go do your thing. And, and I had to go drop off my bullshit. Oh, okay, I believe you. But anyways, I was saying on the pre-podcast show, live, I was saying, I was like, what? I was like, this is going to be a fun one because it just made sense to have you on because uh, you and I have like these conversations on the phone. Yeah. All like, the time. Like when we cry and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> or feeling emotional. Yeah, dude. I only, I only have those with you. You're the guy I call. I know. And you're, and I'm the guy that you call. I, and I just show up at your front door. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's so funny, dude. Like, we'll just jump right in this thing. So you and I have been best friends since high school. Yeah. You you and I have probably been friends. You, myself, and Alex. Yeah. Ten years strong. And there was age at one point. There, he's still around. Yeah. I just don't know. I don't know if we're best friends, <laughs> I though. He, I don't hope. But I have a feeling he's going to watch this and get mad. He's yeah. going to get pissed. He's like, what do you mean? Hold on. Let me make Are we it. not best friends anymore? Uh, something like that, bro. Yeah. But anyways, the point yeah. being is you and I have been friends for like 10 plus years since high school. Yeah. And that's hard to come by now. Like, it's crazy. It is. When Dude, we, we think about we've it. We've gone to some shit. Yeah. You, are one of, you and Alex are one of those people that I'm very thankful for because like to be some friends with somebody for like 10 years is insane. <sighs> But also, dude, like, let's think about this. Like, 10 years, uh, it's just kind of wild to think, like, we've known each other for 10 years. Dude, I, it doesn't feel like 10 years. No, not at all. And that's the crazy thing, but... Uh, like, fuck, it has been 10 years. 10 years, dude. Dude, I'm old. We're old. Dude. You're older than me, though. Yeah. <laughs> You're dude, older I'm, than me. Dude, I'm 28. I'm 27, dude. Everyone just reminds me that I'm in my 30s. Like, bitch, I'm not 30 yet. <laughs> Bitch, I'm not 30. I got a solid two more years before I hit the 30s. Just calm dude, down. Dude, I feel like I like turned 18 yesterday. Like It's, yeah, man, huh? It's yeah. so crazy. Except because... for his back pain. I don't like that <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't like that shit. I know, dude. Well, it's crazy because, so just like a, like I was saying, so like you and I had these conversations all the time. So it made sense for you to be on this podcast because you and I have gone, you know, when you, when I sit, when I sit here and I have these conversations with like, you know, friends that I met in the last year, like people that have owned business, like just interesting people like you know yeah. ashley Capacito or like the people that i've had on this podcast before jordan you know yeah. jer cousins friends people you know but like i don't know when it when i asked you 
it was a no. It was kind of when I asked you, I felt dumb for not thinking of it sooner. I was like, why have I not asked Jose to be? Dude, on you've this? asked me before, but you just went over your head. You forget. You're. I don't know where you've been. Here's the thing: <laughs> having you on is like almost like having my mom on. <laughs> <laughs> why, dude? Are oh, you embarrassed or what? <laughs> no, but I feel like. You looked embarrassed. Look at your fucking. I'm you're all, red as fuck. I'm red because I wore this nice new jacket. I bought this jacket. We'll get into this right now. Okay. But having <laughs> <laughs> you look also hungover as shit. I'm not. I'm just swollen, bro. Uh, like buff or just like on your face. <laughs> <laughs> just doing. It's fucking swole, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just feeling jack. Right. No, but having you on feels like my mom because you know things about me that nobody else in the world knows. I, I can embarrass you. I, know, <laughs> I can just, fucking embarrass. So you. I feel like I need to mind my p's and q's and I can't say certain things because like you are the one person in the world that I always that that. You know me inside and wow, dude, clean it up, bro. <laughs> it's only been like five minutes. <laughs> but you, out of all the people that I know, you and Alex know me inside and out. So, like, through, like, the past ten years, like, if I start acting, like, I tell Alexis this all the time, too. I'm like, if I start acting like, like, you and Alex are some of my best friends and my brothers because of the trials and tribulations. And yeah. you guys are the types of people that, like call you on your shit call me on my shit yeah. like and i and i would try you know and i have friends now like steven and stuff that you know they would call me out but like you have a level of understanding of me and my personality and likewise like with you yeah where if i start and you've told me this before like if i start acting like not myself you'll call me out i have to yeah and then real quick and then i and, <laughs> and I, I don't and i don't just do it to you like i do it in public so everyone knows you're acting out and then you're all fucking embarrassed. that's why i feel like my mom like i feel like <laughs> talking to my mom in front of all these people it's like two people but it's funny be- and i was excited because i was like oh man jose knows me on another level and not only that you know we have a deep level of understanding of each other but also our sexualities are just i'm just kidding no <laughs> but both you and i started our careers uh at like around the same time Yeah, around the same time i mean you had already started i didn't know it was going to be a career i was just working a daytime job yeah. yeah but but it's cool because i think maybe i think it was like last year or even we have the conversations on a regular but um you call you'll call i'm you'd call me i'm the worst at it you'll call me out of the blue and we'll just reminisce yeah and it's sick because like i think the last time you know because because for you and i to start at the same time and then you know come back home it's just crazy because like you know we think about the year and where we're we like, started dude we weren't even in town like what yeah the fuck? we came back and all of a sudden it hit here like out of all places i know and it's crazy because like I mean, because I, I was thinking, I was like, where are we going to start? Because I don't think about too much, you know, what are we going to talk about, blah, blah, blah. But in this one, I'm like, fuck, where do we really start? Because you and I have so much history that... We don't have anywhere to start. Dude, we can start in the middle and it feels like it was yesterday. I know. Uh, what? Yeah, yesterday. I could pretty much... You called me yesterday to do this. I'm like, oh, I don't You're know. Guy. You... Uh, do I, you... Do I want to go? I'm going to... Embar- <laughs> Look, at I'm all nervous and shit. Like, oh. Dude, you don't get nervous. You are nah, a guy that's... Been... I don't even... I don't get embarrassed either. Yeah, you don't get embarrassed, dude. <laughs> My God. <laughs> you know what's crazy, dude? It's like, um, it's funny because over, first off, let me just say this. Jared's going to be really mad that my feet are on this couch. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. My feet are on the couch, too. Yeah, but he can suck it, dude. Whatever. Sorry, Jared. I love you. <laughs> but this is kind of comfortable. It is. I told you. So I'm going to stick with it. Oh, dude, no. you're wearing shoes. <gasps> That's probably why he's going to get uh, mad. Huh? I would be mad at you. Oh, shit. Hold on. All right. This is chill. Dude, in my house, you can't even wear your shoes up the carpet. Gabby will fuck you up. Well, that's because you live with the lady. Yeah. Dude, like, get your fucking shoes off. Don't go upstairs with, with fucking shoes on. Okay, let's talk. Okay, let's just get into this. Okay. Does your girlfriend make you... Well, actually, sorry. I apologize. Does your fiancé... Wife. Does your wife... Oh, my God, dude. You were going to get married. We're getting married again because it did... Stupid Rona. Yeah. Okay, we'll go right into that. So, first things first, does Gabby get mad? Like, does she make you take the shoes off in the house? Not in the house, unless I'm going to go upstairs. No, the no shoes upstairs? No shoes on the carpet. Oh, my God, dude. This is the things that we talk about now. This, okay, dude, this is what we were talking about a couple of photos. Dude. I feel like our lives have changed so much that from, like, the things that we used to focus on and the things that, you know, we would, that, that seemed important to us. Like, yeah. Now are so different because like when we were younger, everything was just about girls, about girls and getting weird, and acting <laughs> wild and and just skating, dude. I, I don't even. I was gonna make some comments with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. My and now both too. of our girlfriends get mad at us. But I now get, home and get my ass beat. I know. But now, like, 
I mean, I would like to hear your your part of it. But now, like thinking about it, like now the conversations are we ha- that we're having are: Does your girlfriend make you take? Does your wife make you take your shoes off in the house? Like I never thought I'd have to have that conversation. Like we're growing up, dude. That's some grown up conversation. It's so weird. Like but, be the old people don't walk in my yard and shit. Like, yeah. get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> but do those are those people? Dude, I cut your grass. You better not walk my fucking lawn. <laughs> Especially you. Huh? Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Well, okay. So real quick, just so people get an idea of you, because a lot of people know. So for you, um, can. Just explain a little bit, like, your stuff and what you do. All right. Well, I own my own uh, landscaping business yeah. or just landscaping or maintenance, I guess. Yeah. If you want me to cut your grass or trim your trees or trim your bush, whatever you want, <laughs> that's yeah. what I do. I mean, I can start from scratch. I'm um, good at irrigation. Um, I pretty much all I do, dude. I mean, yeah. I get rid of a tree yeah. and lay some rock. Well, you built, like, I feel like you at first you were just doing the lawn stuff. Yeah, we're just doing maintenance. Stuff. And then every year... You get you landscape. Grow. No, I, I, no, I started with trees. Yeah, that's true, huh? You did start. Remember, with trees. I did the Mile Lab tree. Oh my God, the day I feel like that was a that was, every time we went, but like you were like, I want to cut this tree, and they were always like, Oh yeah, yeah. They would tell you something, and then yeah. one day you finally cut that damn tree. Yeah, dude, that shit was huge though. Fat old tree, dude. First tree I ever do, and it was the biggest tree I've ever seen. <laughs> I was like, dude, this, it was terrifying. Yeah, I filled like four trailers up with that thing. I know, and it was just you, right? And it was, I had help. Who helped you? Um, my mom's man. My name's Pepe. Oh. Yeah, he's an idiot. Uh, <laughs> I, I fired him. You fired your 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 mom's good boyfriend. Yeah, he made me mad a lot. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, he helped me. He's good at trees, so he helped me, dude. And it was first big job. Yeah. And I didn't know how to charge. Dude, yeah. Dude, I made four hundred bucks when I asked everyone, dude, you should make like at least a thousand. I was like, what? People, the? people were telling you yeah. that. I'm like, dude, I only made four hundred bucks. Like, dude, you're dumb. I'm like, what are you doing? I was like, dude, I'm starting. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it worked though. How did, how did for you? How did you learn how to to do that? Like, how how did? So, uh, what was your justification for learning how to pray? Or who taught you? So <laughs> I, uh, when we were in Phoenix, when we were living in Phoenix, yeah. uh, I was doing landscaping. Yeah. But I was doing nothing but desert landscaping. We didn't really do trees. All I did was like maintenance, pretty much blow all the leaves away and pick up all your trash yeah. and trim the bushes and stuff. Yeah, that was it. But I wasn't cutting any grass. I wasn't doing any trees. Just like small stuff. Yeah. And then uh, when we moved back, um. I started working with a local guy. He had a, his business was pretty big. He was making good money, and uh, that guy just started telling me how he was running it. And I was like, "Dude, but it's a small business. He only had two employees and himself." Yeah. And then sometimes he had a help a helper with him, and uh, he would just tell me how everything worked. I was like, "I never asked. He was just he was just a bragger with all this so much uh, in charge." Like I, mean, sh- I took notes. So I'm was he notes. was he like one of those types of people that would just you know it was like a small flex? Yeah, it was like dude, small those, flex. Dude, they came in hard though. That would <laughs> cut his own hair and everything. He was. <laughs> Trying to, trying to budget. Yeah, he was saving some money, bro. <laughs> Come out there and everything. Man. But he would like flex on me. I was like, "Fuck this fucker!" Like, like with money? Not with money. Like how much he charged? Oh, like I charged like five hundred dollars yeah, a tree, bro. I was like, "Yeah, dude, my 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 phone number's out there. I don't have to do shit no more." They call me. I was like, <laughs> "Fuck, dude, I want that." I was like, "Fuck, I'm over here working for this douchebag." <laughs> but uh. I'm glad I worked for him because I took notes. Yeah. Like, and uh, what he did, he ended up selling the business. And when he sold it, oh my god, I remember that. Yeah, he sold the business, and he with the contract and selling the business, me and the other help, well, my other friend Jose, yeah. remember he helped us with the trench. Well, my other, the other Jose it was three Jose's. The other Jose were in the contract, so we were the employers went with the contract. I remember this. Yeah, so we went with the contract. Those guys kept us a month, maybe. Yeah. They learned the route. Fired. Damn. I was like, what the hell? But as soon as they fired us, uh, they didn't know any English. So all the clients were calling me. I was like, uh. Because you. Like, who are these guys in my yard? Like, who are these guys in my yard? Like, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. These, uh, they sold the business. I'm just, I'm home now. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, can you come cut my yard? I don't like these guys. I was like, wait, what? Like, come cut my yard. I was like, fuck it. Because you knew those people. Yeah, because huh? the, they never dealed with the actual owner. They dealed with the work, with the workers. Yeah. So I was like, oh, fuck it. I'll go. And uh, luckily, I had already bought some equipment. I wasn't planning on doing this. But the second they called me, like, hey, you want to cut my yard? I bought equipment. I had some yeah. money left f- just for that. And uh, that's how I started. I literally started with 10 houses. Yeah. Like, from nothing to 10 houses in one day. I was like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. And it was all the old, all the previous clients um, calling me because they didn't like the new people. Yeah. And that's because that other company got, it was done. Yeah, you sold it. And luckily, like, we didn't have to sign anything where so we couldn't take t- the clients. Definitely. So, I mean, I took all the clients that were paying a lot more. I was like, there's no way. I'm not going to survive over 10 houses yeah so i took like the ranches and stuff like that yeah and now like you got like harvest prep and all that stuff yeah, right? I got, so i have a contract with harvest prep now 
And uh, I love them. Dude, they pay all my bills. Like, it's hard not to be thankful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of them, I pay all my bills. And all of my, my outside houses and all, like, the outside jobs, it's just money for me. Excellent. That's so great. And I'm proud of you, dude, because it's cool because, like, you know, like I said in the beginning, like, we've known each other for so long. And both of us, you know, I feel I feel like you have it way more figured out than I do. But, you know, every year, it's cool for both of us to talk about, like, our growth. Yeah, like, where we are right now. Yeah, because, like, you know, I, re- I remember, you know, I forgot prior to this, like, that's how it happened. Yeah. Like, it, w- it was, like, kind of, like, one day, you know, you're working for that guy, and then the next thing. You're I'm on, on my own. Yeah, yeah, you're on your own, and it was, like, oh, shit. And then it's, but then, you know, from the trees to, like, the landscape, like, and then every time you were, like, it was cool to see you do more and more every time and then slowly build. Yeah, and slowly then, building it. The thing is that with the other guy, we would do, he would do a little bit of everything. Yeah. So he was doing the job, and when we were done with the route, he would call us to go help him. Yeah, like, that's how I learned. Like I didn't know how to do a, fu- a tree. Like what? Yeah, how, yeah, do you yeah. cu- how do you trim a tree? Yeah, I, I things heard. like too tall. <laughs> yeah, no and, shit. And uh, I just we, he was cutting the tree and we were picking everything up. But I was like I said, I was taking notes. Were you the one up there? No, he was up there. Yeah, but, fuck that. Uh, no well, now now I didn't even go up there. No, oh, dude, that shit's scary. I have to do that. I'll hire someone. Dude, go up there and cut that. <laughs> yeah, like in our front yard. You yeah. saw you sent some guy. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, this boy ain't even up there. Oh no, dude, I'm the boss now. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have to do, do that. You want? <laughs> that's cool, man. Well, it's cool because, um, you know, especially from, especially the aspect where you didn't know that that's what, what was going to happen. Because remember when we were in Phoenix, like we were both just trying to like figure it out. Yeah, like dude, we didn't like, know. I would have never thought I was going to be a landscaper. What did you want to do out of high school? I became a firefighter. That's what, yeah, that's what I was going to get into because I didn't realize that was right out of high school because right out of high I school. I went straight to college. You were, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I remember Alex and I left. Yeah, you fucks. We left. Hey, man. Dude, I didn't talk to you guys for like a year. That's after. not my fault. I was zoned in. I'm so mad about that. We didn't even have cars. We lost it. You didn't have a car, but I we lost a year of friendship there. No, we didn't, dude. You never called me. Oh, God. Yeah. See, this is why I mean. I feel like I'm talking to my mom. Uh, Everybody that's listening to this, too, like all my friends that know me, they'll be yeah. like, get him, bro. This fool don't text back. <laughs> he do- you don't. Dude, I try. I, had, I called your mom to tell her that. <laughs> like, well, he never answers me. Like, I'm so mad. <laughs> I don't answer my mom. <laughs> It's like, it's, okay, we'll get into that later, but, I'm uh, sorry. Yeah, well, Alex and I left because, you know, my parents weren't going to let me stay, bro. They were just like, so where are you going to go? And then, that's when, yeah, yeah. Th- there was, so then I left, and I went to the Art Institute of Phoenix, and then Alex. I mean, you had to do something. I had to do something. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but, you know, and I remember you you were here, and then you started doing the fire academy and the EMT thing, yeah. and I thought you were going to be a goddamn firefighter, dude. Yeah, so did I until yeah. I didn't like the guys. Yeah, dude. I, I don't, I don't know, I don't have nothing against firefighters, they're cool. But wasn't the, for you. It's the old guys, man. The old guys. Yeah, like the bosses there, like the chiefs and stuff. Like I didn't like it. You didn't. It, wasn't it was for not you. my scene. It just wasn't my. Scene. Yeah, it just wasn't your thing. Yeah, nothing to the other guy. Yeah, yeah because because like, I loved what I was doing. I just it just was not for me. Yeah. Well, and then that's where I gave you a lot of credit because like somebody like you, like you tried the MT thing, didn't work out, and then also then you backed out, and then you did like you know you tried a bunch of shit. Yeah. I, oh, I do. Been everywhere, dude. <laughs> everywhere. Uh, did personal training for a while. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. When we were, I love that, but I just hated spending so much time at the gym. I love the gym. Yeah, but for myself. Yeah, that was. And your... uh, I couldn't spend twenty four like twelve hours a day in a sh- gym, dude. I would work four hours, go home for an hour and a half, two hours, come back for another four. Hours. I can't be somewhere forever, dude. Like, I hated. I need it. to switch around. I hated it, and then some of these people that was selling people memberships, like oh. training memberships, that they, they were never gonna use. <laughs> like, bro, you're paying you... like over a thousand dollars every like. At least every three Did months. Did you know that? Like somebody would I come knew in, it. You sell I a felt, membership? Dude, I feel like an asshole. You're like, like, you're not going to come. It's like when you go to like Sprint and they just want to fucking sell you everything. Can you that's stop? How I, I, that's how I felt. <laughs> I don't like want you, a screen you protector. You buy a car, like, I want you to buy this car. Like, dude, that's not what I want. I'm like, copying you, by the way. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even notice. Up. But no, yeah, that's how I felt. I was just selling stuff that I knew they weren't going to use. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. And I love training them. I would train them before I sold something. After mm. I kicked their ass, they're like, yeah, I'll buy it. I'm like, fuck, dude, damn it. Damn it. I get commissioned those, like, fuck. Yeah. But then you tried that, and then and then we mo- and then we we were, so then from there. I quit, like, after two months. You did. <laughs> you built out fast. I was, like, I was like, hell, I'm out. I don't like you this. You built out so quick. Dude, I sold so many me- memberships. I made so much commission. I was like, dude, I feel like a dick. These people are not going to use it. And I was yeah. only Sp- Spanish speaker. wasn't your thing. Oh, my God. You get so much money. Dude, I made so much money in two months. They were all pissed. I was like, dude, who's this stupid new guy? Because like, you spoke Spanish. Because I spoke Spanish. They had, a bunch of, they had a bunch of my people there. But you lived in the hood, too. I'm surprised more people didn't speak Spanish. No, well, I lived in the hood, but I didn't work in the hood. Oh yeah, yeah. Where'd I worked away all the way in Good Goodwill or Goodyear. Goodyear. Yeah, Goodwill. Good, you... I forget. <laughs> <laughs> it was like thirty minute drive. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, it wasn't fun. Yeah, dude. 
Well, and then you didn't enjoy it. But then from there... I mean, I got a free membership. Like, I would work out for free. Oh, that's kind of a good vibe right there. Yeah, but I mean, I work for free now. So yeah, so whatever. Um, but then from there... Because I'm, rem- I'm trying to fill in the gaps. It's been so, so long. from there, I quit. Literally quit. Got my last check. I was out. You bailed. Yeah. And uh, my cousin, it was like, dude, I need a... He was living in Phoenix. Dude, I need a job. I need a job. Yeah. It was like, oh, my neighbor's... My neighbor's husband does some landscaping. I'm gonna give him your number. Like, just tell him to hire me. Yeah. And it was like, well, he, oh, he was like, then he called me like a couple of days later. Oh, he doesn't. He's not the boss. He just he just works there. Yeah. But uh, go apply or that or just go in person. They said go show up in person. Bring your license and your social security. Like, all right, I brought my license, social security. You speak Spanish? I'm like, yeah. You speak English? Yeah. You got your license? Yeah. All right. You're the driver. I was like, wait, what? I'm hired. I was like, that was the interview, bro. That's it. I'm hired. That's it. Tight. And then he hired me as a driver. And then I go with my crew. None of my crew speaks English. They all speak Spanish? All Spanish speakers. No wonder they got you. No, they all have a visa. None of them have a license. This is in Phoenix too, right? Yeah. I was like, dude. like, how are you guys junior? Yeah. I was oh. We're living in the, in the two-story house. Hell yeah. House. Yeah. It was a cool house. That was a fun house. It looked like a trap house. It did look a little bit like a trap house. Yeah. Um, they uh, they gave me the position like without me even trying. I forgot about that. Kinda and uh, suck. like they were not just like my, my people I was working with. Keep going. Everyone there hated me. Why? Because all of a sudden, I come, I speak English, you I know how to drive with a trailer, and I was making more money than all of them. Damn, they were just hating on yeah, you. Yeah, and, and then obviously I told them that I knew what I was doing. Fuck, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. You faked it. Oh, of course, dude. I'm not just coming in and show off everything I know, even yeah. though I didn't know shit. <laughs> oh, my God. And uh, they gave me the job. I didn't know how to drive with a trailer. Yeah. Like, you know how to drive a trailer? You know how to back it up? I was like, yeah. the trailer, right? I was like, yeah, yeah, I can yeah. back it up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Of course I do. I didn't know how to do it. I had my 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 foreman do it for me <laughs> until I finally learned. Yeah. And then after, like everyone was like, "This fool doesn't know what he's doing." Like, I'm why is he making so much money? And as soon as I learned, literally in two months, I asked for a raise. They gave it to me. Like, oh shit! Uh, I was like, "Damn, no wonder these fools hate me." <laughs> and uh, before, like after all that, like I did all the desert landscaping. That's what I was doing there. Yeah. And uh, I miss my mommy. Yeah. I miss my brother, and uh, my grandpa. So I was like, "Fuck." So I came back. I was yeah. Like, Fuck, I'm coming back. I, I told them, they had recalled me, like, oh, there, you want to work in the office? I was like, nah, I'm going back town. I'm back into town. I was like, I'm going back to my hometown. I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah. So I left. And uh, when I got here, I didn't work for like a month. And then some guy, my mom worked for a nursing home, like Beehive Homes or something Holy like that. Holy shit, I remember that. Yeah, she was like the manager there. And uh, they had a landscaper guy, and uh, he had fired two of his guys. And then this one, oh, this guy's looking for a worker. Like, don't you know what you did? I was like, yeah. What does he do? Like, yeah, uh, that's what I did. And, uh, <laughs> excuse me. Had a boy. And then she was like, peaked, um, <laughs> they cut uh, grass and stuff. Like, so, fuck, I never cut grass in my life. Oh, shit. But it was easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you I mean you never cut grass? You, I had like, never, um, you didn't cut grass as a kid? Dude, oh, no, you lived I, in a trailer yeah, with dirt. My yeah, bad, dude. sorry. We, I never That's even so seen grass. Up. I never even went to the field. <laughs> I never even seen grass. <laughs> or like grass. to the soccer field. Or something. That's what grass was. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't have to cut it. Shit. Yeah. And then my coach would get me mad if I pulled it out. <laughs> I was like, he made me put it back in. It feels <laughs> so good. Like, what are you doing? Like, put the grass back. I was like, fuck. Fuck. All right. <laughs> I wanted to take it all. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I had never cut grass. And I started there. I was there for like a year. So, I think the whole process for me starting my business was... I worked landscape for like a year and a half, around almost two years, and then I went on my own, and now I've been doing it for about two years, two and a, two years and a half now. It's only been two years. So in total, I've been doing landscaping for a total of five years or yeah. or four years, around somewhere around there. But a business has only been going for like two years and a half. Yeah, see, it's crazy too because like, um, you know, that's where you and I, well, we both relate in a lot of things, but right that moment from like missing mommy and stuff, yeah, missing home and then coming back and then also. I remember you calling me like, dude. You came back. I was like, you were the main reason I wanted to come back too. I was like, now I had no one up here, like, up here it. in Phoenix. I had to come back. Yeah, well, there was a lot of shit that that went on there, but like, uh, oh yeah, hell yeah. But uh, uh, we'll get into that. But yeah. uh, but it's just crazy <laughs> because you know when people ask too, like, oh, how long have you been doing your business? I always say like five years. I say five years. Like, Wait, no, I've only been doing it two years. Exactly. Like. It's from when we both moved back, which yeah. is around the same time. But but my experience started five years ago. Did so. you think? Um, did you think from? Because cause at the time, and I don't want to speak for you, but, like, at the time, you were still trying to, like, figure out what you wanted to do, right? Cause yeah, like, I had no idea. So, at the, when I started my business, I was – well, actually, when I was with the the business, the one that fired me, before yeah. they fired me, I was already working part-time at GNC. Yeah, 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 yeah. You were doing yeah, double. Yeah, and as soon as it fired me, like, I applied for a manager position at GNC, assistant mm-hmm. manager. I got it. 
I was like, oh, what the fuck? Like, I got it. But that's when I started getting calls. Yeah. It, oh, you were. I remember you were like at a weird turning I was, point. Yeah. So I was working part time and I was like starting the business. And uh, so I was only working Wednesdays, Tuesdays in the landscaping every day at GNC at nighttime. Yeah. And then I got the manager's position and uh, I would only work Wednesdays in my business. Yeah. But it's because they're, dude, GNC pays pretty good even though they suck as it's a business. Weird. They it's pay weird, really huh? good. Yeah. And, uh, and then you get commission. So I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, they fired me. I was like, they fired me. They fired every assistant manager. Oh, I remember that. Everywhere. Some like, I, would, I called to the one in the Phoenix. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we have no assistant manager anymore. I was like, what? So they just fired every every assistant manager. I guess to save money or something. I guess they went bankrupt or something. Probably. Yeah. Something like that. I got an email the other day that we're bankrupt or something by GNC. How I, crazy. They still have me. Yeah. So I was like, what? So they fired me. I was like, fuck. Like, what am I doing now? Yeah. It turned out I could still pay my bills with the Wednesday I was working. Damn. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I was like, okay. So I was managing to pay all my bills. And uh, literally lived off of that for a year, I think. Like, barely making it, living, like, week to week. That was when it was just you, right? That, no, at first it was me and Jose. Since they fired both of them, we started together. No, but, like, before Gabby. No, that was already with Gabby because we had the house. Oh, yeah. Because that's crucial, bro. Dude, it was because it, it was hard. It was me. I started managing it, and I had Gabby. So I managed GNC, and I, it was nice to make all the extra money. Yeah. And then the business money was for me. I had a bunch of toys and stuff. Yeah. But uh, yeah, as soon as they fired me, I was like, oh, fuck. Wow, what? dude, this feels like this was years ago. Yeah, I was like, oh, fuck, what do I do? Dude, all this happened in like, like in six months. I was like, shit, yeah. what do I do now? And uh, I, uh, fuck, where I lost my point. Oh, no, you were talking about um, because you got fired from GNC. Oh, I, and yeah, then, and yeah. I, I didn't know what to do. I was like, fuck, I'm only working the business Wednesdays. Like, that's the only day I work. Yeah. And I didn't know what to do. I was like, fuck, I can ba- I'm barely making it as is. It turned out I could make it every Wednesday. So, but me being fired from GNC just gave me so much more time to pay attention to my business, you know. Yeah. And uh, as soon as as soon as I started making all this, like more putting all this attention more into the business, literally within like three months, just took off. Yeah. And it, all because like we were hanging out with the people at Myo Lab. They've always supported me since I started. Yeah, they were. That they was were, a good time. Yeah, you. like when I started, like we were there a lot, so they were helping me out a lot. I was like, all right, cool, and. uh started the the instagram page and even though i don't post a lot i don't have a lot of followers I, most of my f- clients are from there like they all yeah. hit me up on instagram i was like and now i get calls like oh do you are you jose like, yeah uh do you do landscaping I'm like, yeah you that guy. i was like yeah i do landscaping i was like oh we need to do this I was like, how'd you get my number i was like i got it from such and such i was like like randy from yeah. my life no not even not anymore that's how it was before but now i got it from such and such I was like, who the fuck is that yeah Apparently my numbers out there now too. Now I can flex some people. It's, yeah, <laughs> I don't well, have to. So look. those cards are working then, dude. I'm all out already. I called you like a month ago. To, I need oh, a new shit. ones. And you I know. I gotta me. you. I'm gonna fucking. Have I don't it. think you answered. Like always. Shut up, dude. I totally did. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna help you out. Okay, you're good. Okay, but yeah, that's what happened. And now, like, not to flex on everyone. Like, you can flex. No. Boy. Um. I. Uh, I don't really advertise much anymore. That's a beautiful spot to be. Yeah. I mean, just because I have that contract with Harvest Prep. Yeah. That contract, though. Okay. Crazy. Gabby applied for a job as HR. At she, Harvest? She, yeah. She got an interview, right? Yeah. They talked about, like, what she wanted in the future, why she was applying. Yeah. And then they talked about, are you married? And then what's your plan? They're like, oh, I'm married. Like, oh, she, obviously, she brought me out. And she's like, oh, what does he do? He does landscaping. <laughs> And I got the job. Oh, <laughs> I got shit. the landscaping contract. I was like, what the fuck? Like, so it I, happened in a weird time? Like It happened time? in a point where uh, I didn't apply shit. They called me and oh. asked me to go do the school. Oh, yeah. So she does HR there and then you do the No, she wanted to do HR there. She didn't get the job. I mean, she had a, she placed high enough to get the job. Yeah. But there was someone that was uh, more qualified, I guess. Uh, shit happens. And uh, she kept, she's still working as an HR, but at Target. And uh, But I got a contract out of a place I didn't apply to. What is Hold that? Up. What's happening? Oh, stop. I got to I got to reset that. <gasps> Did we miss all that? It's, so just, they missed a whole minute of my no, beautiful face? No, I'll still play it. <laughs> You're good. So what were you saying? <laughs> no, I'll still play it. So yeah, I got the contract at Harvest uh, at Harvest Prep by uh Gabby applying for a job. So you worked out. I somehow I got a job without me being part of it. Yeah, I mean, shit just works out, dude. I think people uh not I hate when I say people because I feel like I'm talking about a certain thing, but like I think it's easy um, to to get to limit yourself in the things that you do because you feel like there's gonna be no payoff. It's because the thing is that 
and you put so much obviously it's important but if you put too much importance into something you're just gonna burn it out dude yeah because uh like i said i didn't apply i wasn't looking for it gabby applied for a job that was not for me it was for her she didn't get hired but they called me yeah and i was like what they called me for what I'm like oh we just fired a landscaper we need a landscaper yeah what are the odds dude but you know because well because how did they find out about you because gabby had the interview okay they yeah talked, see. they talked about what does your husband do and um what are your goals and what is what are his goals yeah so yeah, like, yeah but but see like Am I in? Because like you just never know. Missy Barra, you're tight. If you're if you're watching this, you're cool. Missy like Barra you. is tight because Missy Barra hired Jer and I to do all the graduation She's photos. She's sick, right? Missy Barra rules, dude. Missy Barra saved our ass thing, like right before. Dude, I was struggling. She saved my ass without applying to. Dude, something. she saved my ass too. Shout out to Missy Barra. Yeah. Yeah. They I don't know rule. if you have an Instagram. I'm gonna have to look you up. <laughs> no, but you know, I think that because you know. Like, there's this book that I read called The War of Art, and it talks about, you know, just showing up every day mm -hmm. and doing the work. Just do your job. Do your job. Do your job. Yeah. And by doing that and having the discipline of just showing up every day and doing a little bit every day, mm -hmm. that one day it will work out for you. Yeah. Like, it's just don't give up. Like, don't give up. And, and that's the thing. And, like, you know, and I think for both of us, that happens on the day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, every day. Because like, you... Are one of these people that I know, and this is why it's like I, I was so like, it's it was fun. I was really excited talking about you because you you are one of the most hardworking people I've ever met in my life. Like you show up every single day, you clock in your hour. Like you're a very traditional person. Yeah, well, you show I was up. Raised that way. You you exactly, and it's crazy because it's like, it feels like that's the last of a dying breed. Yeah, like these types of people, you know, because. I don't know, man. Like, I get frustrated. Like, I talk to some some of my friends, and I, I get frustrated because the word hustle and the word, like, grind gets thrown out too much. But it's it, a lot of it's not a hustle or a grind. It's a going to work every day, bro. Yeah, like, it's like, and it, it's crazy, too. Because, and I think maybe that's my frustration with it because, like, it's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I mean, you've got to pay your bills, bro. Exactly. You're and not this, supposed to hustle. you got to pay your bills. Like, you just, yeah, I understand the hustle and the grind. Yeah. I think it's just fun to say for people, I think, bro. Yeah, I think it's just the, wor the words. They're kind yeah. of, they're cool words, I guess. And it's funny. And me, because, like, you know, and I was talking to my friend Jer about this. Because Jer's, you know, because Jer is somebody that, you know, him and I, we, we work in the same thing. So I can and I can talk to him about certain things, especially, like, in the creative world. Mm -hmm. And you. You're not even in the world. But, like. And uh, I talked to him about, like, my frustrations and stuff, and, mm. you know, he understands. And same with you, but, like, it's fr sometimes it can get frustrating when, uh, you know, like, those words get tossed around. And I think I posted, like, not too long ago, I was, like, I think I just get, like, fed up with shit. And I see things online, I get fed up, and I get frustrated. Because, like, I, just, I, I feel like, um, you know, for a lot of people, especially now, like, you know, everybody's an entrepreneur now. Yeah, it's because now you post a uh, picture on Instagram, like, oh, I'm grinding. I'm hustling. I'm, I'm hustling. I was like, bro. And then you go and t take a look at him. He's not doing shit. He's sitting on the table doing nothing. Yeah. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. Your hands are cold. I know. I'm freezing. Dude, my hands and ears my toes all the time. My hands, feet, and toes all the time. But like, you know, oh, I remember what I was telling Jerry. Sorry. It's like, I was telling Jerry, I was like, um, it's just interesting because, you know, like I, I don't like to talk about the things that I do or produce. I just like to let the work speak for itself. Yeah. So like... You know, I feel like when people have to, you know, there's a way to do it. You know, it, like I think when people are like, look what I'm doing, blah, 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 blah like yeah. overly doing it. I don't know. I, sometimes I get a gut feeling about things and I see people's stuff online and I'm like, dude, just fucking or like bragging about their shit. Like lately, dude, like for a while it was getting me frustrated because I would see a bunch of shit online and it would piss me off. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what, bro? Mute, mute, mute. Like I just started muting this world online and like because I, I talked to Jared and I think I talk about it all the time on the podcast that like I have a very unhealthy uh, relationship with social media. Yeah, like, like it pisses me off. You do? Like if I, yeah, I know I suck. And then if it's something like that really bothers you, it'll bother you all day. It'll bother me all day, dude. Yeah. It you, has nothing to do with you. Nothing. Uh, no, and, then, and then I'll and then also get, I'll, I'll be shitty with other people because I'm Because hard. of it, yeah. Yeah, and it sucks. So, like, I just started, like, uh, you know, I had to limit my time on it. But that, those are one of the things, like, some of the things that, like, pissed me off. Well, it just made me frustrated because, like, you know, now, especially in my, in my world, and maybe yours too, but this is why this is fun to have this conversation, is, like, there's so much. And not even, I don't, like, Jared and I talk about it. Like, I don't see other photographers or the designers in yeah. town as, like, a competition because there's so much more to go around. Dude, there's plenty of work to go around. It's just, fuck, it's just annoying. Dude, that happens in my, in like, in my line of work. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. I go stop by and do it just to do a regular maintenance front of the house. 
big guys across the street are doing a house. They're dogging me. Oh, yeah, yeah, we talked about this. I was this. like, bro, what are you dogging me? Like, I'm not in your neighborhood. But if it was your neighborhood, you'd be doing every house here. <laughs> yeah. Like, they're dogging me. Like, dude, there's plenty of work to go around. Yeah. This is never going to go anywhere. If they're building new houses, go get new houses. Like, you don't, yeah. I did not take your house. You just didn't do a good job, bro. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I think a part of me has, I think because I had to sit here and talk about it and I think about it because I'm very much like, I mean, you know me, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, but I very much like to lay shit on the table, and if yeah. I'm wrong, I like to be wrong. Yeah. But, like, stuff like this in this situation, like, I think I have, I feel some sort of seniority towards it because I think it's when I see people that just fucking come in randomly and yeah. try to claim a space. It's yeah. like, wait a second, what have you done? You haven't put the work in yet, You haven't bro. put the work in yet, exactly. And, like, knowing, and I think for you and I, like, it's such a fun thing to talk about because, like, I don't have to prove shit. I don't feel like I need to prove anything to you. And not I need to prove anything to anybody else. But, like, I feel like people try to prove their way in this space by, like, saying and expressing their successes rather mm. than just, like, showing let, it. Letting them show for themselves. Yeah. yeah and, like, and I and, – and, you know, my parents are very much, you know, they've, they've been that way. My, my dad doesn't brag about shit. You know, he, he shares things that he's excited about. And, like, I get it. These people are excited about things. But, you know – you know, but there's a certain way to be excited about things. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's weird, and sometimes I sound like a whiny bitch when I talk about this stuff. But, but it's a, no, it's a generation thing, dude. Cause uh, same thing. My parents would buy shit. They didn't show it off. Yeah. So, like we've like my family has had money. We've been broke. We've had money. We're broke again. Money again. Like we've been we've been up and down. Yeah. Um, but we never showed it off. Yeah. And then obviously you, I have these cousins that started from the bottom and now they're way up there, and a lot of people take them as dicks. Yeah. But people don't understand that uh. Just because you became successful, it didn't change you. Yeah. I mean, I'm obviously, it the goal was to change, obviously. Yeah. But, uh, like, it didn't change you as a person. You're still a good person. Just making much, because I'm making more money now and I'm more successful and I buy more things, it didn't change me as a person. Yeah. But, my obviously, my characteristics, my uh, my ambition, had you're supposed to work to that. You want, the goal is to change into something better. These are things you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. And you like, don't fuck, I don't know, for my, in my family, it's, it's like. because we don't quit. You're not supposed to talk about it. Yeah. Like, sort of thing. It's like, yeah. you don't talk about it. You just fucking do the work. You just do the work. You get where you get. And when you make it, hey, good for you, bro. Yeah. But now it's a thing. Like, if you made it, like, oh, I got to fucking put it out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. I know, man. It's interesting. And like I, like I said, I could be a whiny bitch about all the social it's media not, things. man. The goal is to change. Obviously, people people that quit are going to bitch at you for qu- because uh, they're, they're not doing it themselves. Yeah. And I know at times I could be like that, too. Like, yeah, I mean, I bitch at shit I don't want to do. I like, Fuck, I don't want to do that. I'll be bitching. That's like, for work. I've got some work. Like, fuck, I don't want to do that. Yeah. I overprice it. <laughs> you, I, I just don't want to do this it. This is a, I and don't I get, do it. And safety. then I give them a bunch of numbers of other landscapers that I know, and they call me back. I was like, oh, we want you. We like, want you to do it. It's like, fuck. I know. But it's just because I let, I didn't like, something I didn't want to do is just my work, my work speaks for itself now. So it's, Yeah, you don't have to do it. That's a good spot to be, man, because, you know, I know. And I'm not the greatest landscaper out there. I just, I do it for fun. Like, it's for me, I love my job. Yeah. And you, and because you're, dude, you're a workhorse, my yeah. guy. Like, for, ever since i know you, you've been a workhorse. You've yeah. had jobs. You've always done stuff. Well, I like to learn. That's the thing. Yeah, you do. Yeah. I'm not the smartest guy out there, but if you put me to do something hands-on, I'll I'll learn it for sure. Yeah. You are easily one of the most compassionate people I know, like, mm. most patient, because I know being friends with Alex and I is not the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> Fuck no, dude. I, you know what? Alex is all right. It's harder to be friends with you. <laughs> what? You're so sentimental, bro. <laughs> You're so sentimental. It's like having another girlfriend. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Dude, I yeah. Alexis tells me all the time. She's like, you just overreact. I'm like, you do, you do. Like, hey man, but that's just you. I've known that you've been like that since I met you. So. Yeah, you gotta just kind of let me flip out. Yeah, I I mean I met you like that. I'm not gonna try to fucking change you. Yeah, I know, bro. It's so funny, and it, it's and it. I would think that uh, you know, now that I get older, you know, I know that's just me. Yeah, that's so I have to like do things to. That's your personality. But but I know that I have to do it in my time. Yeah. Like, so I'll do it, like, now, like, writing, like, lately I've been writing a lot. Like, it has to be a non-negotiable for me now. Yeah, it's because it's there's certain things you should do on your own. Like, yeah. if you're going to flip out, don't flip out in front of everybody. Go flip out in your room by yourself. Dude, dude this last year, I learned uh, a lot about that stuff. Because for, because that same, on that same vein, like, um, because I, I've always been so, like, outward facing. Yeah. Because I always believed in if I, like, if I just show my full side, nobody can really get me for anything. Yeah. So, but in this last year, like shit has, you know, like th- b- things, things have happened. So then you have to learn like, oh shit, you know, uh, 
th- there's some things you just don't say to people. There's yeah, some there's things some you just, just keep to yourself. There's some, and I'm such an unprivate person. I'm like, everybody yeah. knows my life. And yeah. then, like, you know, in the last year, I really had to learn how to, like, keep some shit to myself. But yeah. th- and not in a negative sense, but, like, how well, I'm the same way. I like to talk. When something's bothering me, I like to talk about it. Oh, yeah, you and I both. That's why we call each other. We're like Doñas, dude. Yeah. We call each other. Doñas, <laughs> tell each other the man. Yeah, we're like, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but, like, I mean, that's also what boys are for, you know? Yeah, I Be- mean, that's why we're friends. Yeah, because, like, but, you know. Well, exactly. best friends. Be- best friends. Best friends. Boys. I feel like the same best friends would probably offend some people who think they're your best friend. Oh, my God, I think the same thing. I was like, I'm going to call my best friend because he's my best friend, but I know some people are going to get pissed off. But I was like, why are people going to get pissed off? Because people that actually know me know that I've been friends with Jose the longest out of everybody. But they feel like they're your best friends. Fucking claiming it, dude. People up there claiming it's it. because I'm not out here claiming it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're exactly to our point, dude. Yeah. <laughs> You're not out here claiming it. But, yeah, it's uh, it's weird. It, just, you know, going going back to you know the whole growing up thing it's weird we're growing up dude and it's fucking weird because these are things that we could have never prepared for and like we look yeah, back on our lives and we when we talk on the phone dude it's crazy because i think the last time we talked on the phone we were like holy shit like the time yeah dude the time and like the people who we were uh like yesterday or last year me as an adult now i yeah. see a kid that was me back in the day, i would fucking hate you dude <laughs> Like, dude. I mean, not you, but myself. I would look at myself back then and say, fuck, dude, I'm, oh, I'm fucking annoying. Like, who, oh, my God. How, who would be friends with that guy? Like, yeah. fuck. Is there, uh, um, is there things about yourself that the way you are now that you, you know, that you never thought you would be, if that's, a, if that makes sense? Well, for one, the main thing, landscaper, never in my never life. Never thought? Never. Dude, I hated plants. Who yeah, would have yeah, thought yeah. I had a green thumb? I hated plants. <laughs> like, who would have known? Yeah. Um, what about personality-wise? Like is there is there a part you know, of you? Personality wise, person I can't even say personality wise. I haven't changed shit. You really haven't. You're no. the same guy. I'm just. I've always been straight up. Um, I've always kept shit to myself. Like shit that bothers me, I kept it to myself. Yeah. So I'm still the same guy. Yeah. I'm just. I work a lot harder for like what I want. Yeah. You yeah. know. I'm more ambitious, I guess. Yeah. But yeah. in my family, I was, I've always been the most ambitious. Yeah, you have. Well, you, I mean, my guy, you grew up in a trailer. Yeah, like, I've always been the most ambitious. And not just, like, my, when I say my family, I don't mean just, like, my brother and my sister. Like, I mean my whole family. Like, yeah. my whole dad's side, my whole mom's side, all my cousins. Yeah, you were, like, you were... Yeah, the only other cousin I know that was it's crazy ambitious but never, ever talk about it was uh, Andy. Yeah. And everyone thinks he's a fucking dick, but I, psh, I look up to the guy. Like, he was a dick, yeah, he's a little bit of show-off sometimes, but, dude, he... He like isolated himself. No one heard from him for like years. Comes back, he's making bank. Does, like, his, does, does his, his thing. thing? Does his thing? Yeah. It was like, he did it by himself. No one did it for him. So I was like, fuck. You've always been like very comfortable with like yourself. Yeah, with my. Well, I love myself. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah. And like that was something that I was terrible at. And being around you really helped me appreciate that. It was your self consciousness that I had to like stop. I had fucking. big ears. I had a shaved head. Fuck I, it, bro. I was a goof, dude. We can't. We're not all perfect, you know. Yeah, I, except for you. But nah, dude, I'm a little too short. Two inches higher, dude. You'd be a little killer, be, dude. dude. You'd be a solid eight and a half. Bitch, I already am a half. I'd be a fucking ten. <laughs> You'd be at least nine three. Oh, nine three. Thanks, bro. I love nine three. I'll take that. I'll take a nine three. Yeah, dude, you got good teeth, a great beard, colored eyes. They're just light. They're not that colored. They're Yours are colored. Look. More yeah, colored than mine. Mm-hmm. I have I pretty big ears, too. You're just not as big as yours. Shut up, dude. You're just not as big Shut as yours. Shut the fuck And then up. we both have stupid curly hair. Dude. I, I'm kind of mad that you cut your hair, to be honest. I was I like, didn't. we were both... Dude, I cut my hair. It was so cold outside, bro. It was so cold. <laughs> ah! I walked I was like, fuck, what is this? I know. I haven't had long hair since high school, dude. I miss my long hair. Your hair was beautiful, guy. Oh, how long was it? Like right here? To my shoulders? Damn. Dude, that shit was long. I have... I have curly, the, majestic. It was. The photos that I have of us skating yeah. with your long hair were so yeah. sick. Skating, dude. What is oh that? God. We haven't even. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make sure we're good. Okay, yeah, we're good. Yeah, dude, fucking. We haven't even talked about skating. It's just crazy, man, because, like, you know, to. It's just crazy because here we are sitting in our studio that we have that, you know. Yeah, dude, I like it. Thanks, dude. But, like, you, I would never have thought, you know. We just never know what's gonna happen. We don't. But one thing and that you has can't been plan for any of this shit. No, and one thing that has been consistent, I feel like for you and I, is you know we've always just we like I've like I feel like I'm very much like you where I am very ambitious. Yeah. Where like I you know if I find something that I enjoy like nothing's gonna stop me from. You go full in one hundred percent. I have to. Yeah, but it's also a big 
I feel like a negative. It's also negative because you neglect other shit. I do. That's your problem. When you go into something, you go 100% to that one thing. You neglect everything. Yes. I do a little bit of everything. Yeah, you're good. And I feel like I'm trying to learn that as an adult because, like, you like, know. The thing now, like, I'm not as good at things I used to do. Like, yeah. I used to be 100% skating. I'm not that good anymore. I still do it once in a while. I do crazy running. Fuck, dude. And you kind of got to be okay with yeah, it, huh? Yeah, you just have to know that you're going to lose some of it. Yeah, I'm going to lose a couple times. Yes. <laughs> I know, yeah. dude, because, like, at, before, you know, if we like something, we could just dedicate, like, everything to and that. The, we were starting, though. We only liked one or two things. We weren't into everything. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, now you get into something. An adult, you get into a bunch of stupid shit. Yeah, yeah, because we were, like, we were full-blown skating and then uh, jobs. Dude, that's or how school. we became real good friends. Skating was made of oh, real friends. I know, man. We should get into that. Yeah, you, if for people that don't know, you taught me how to skate. Yeah. You taught me how to skate. At the, at the spot. We called oh it the spot. Oh, my God, dude. It's is Green it Heart st- Factory. Is it still kicked. there? Yeah, but you get kicked out now. Oh, my God. They have a bunch of shit. Like, you're not allowed to skate there anymore. Yeah, just a, f- a little concrete slab, like, shin height. Yeah. We would drop off of it. I remember what, what was, like, I think we were just at your house, and then we were we were at the trailer. Yeah. And then it was, uh, who was the big, tall, skinny guy that was with us? Alfredo. Alfredo, that motherfucker big ripped. Old pothead, but he's the one that got us like all into like vert and he stuff. He was so cool, dude. Yeah. Now that I think about it, he was so cool. He's cool compared to us. He, he was listened tight. to like psychedelic music and yeah. wore tight pants. He looked like he was part of Baker. Yeah, he was like a mino pothead skating the wall. I was like, full skating wall. Oh bro. yeah, like, he would like wall. He was dope, dude. Yeah, he was fun skating. Where is he? I have no idea. Um, Rafita told me you saw him once. Yeah, he's a he's a fresita now. He's a fresa now. Yeah, he went from rocker to fresa. Oh my god! I hope he's. I bet you he still rips though. I, I bet you he was so funny. Do you remember he played the guitar all the time? Yeah, he was, like, dude, he was cool. Like, that was what skating was before, bro. He, it he was, was one of the, like, Lord of Dogtown kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, he was ripped. But I remember that day we went to, I remember that day because it was a gang of us. It was you, me, Adrian, Carlos, Mario. Um, Alfredo Rafita. Alfredo Rafita. Yeah, we, and then we went to the spot and all you guys knew how to, all you guys skated. Yeah. All you guys skated. And I remember I went, I didn't have a board. And, huh? I, we ma- we built you one from all my scraps. Remember I yeah. put my, my trucks on backwards? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I put my trucks on backwards. And then we went to go skate the spot and then I think from there, I left and I bought my first board. Yeah, you went and bought your first board. Like, like literally the, the next day. Like, and then I broke it at, at the chili pepper drop. Yeah. Remember I broke the nose? Dude, and that's why we couldn't even ollie that before. Like oh You couldn't God. even ollie that, but you were doing crazy shit, and then you snapped it. Well, you guys, I feel like you guys and then the MG guys, because you guys were all so good that I had a lot of catching up to do. You caught up quick. And then Mario and, and Adrian, they were young, and they were good. Yeah. Really good, especially Adrian. Hey, the little black one, yeah, he was crazy Dude, good. Dude, so good, man. And then, I mean, Alan barely skated. I, for, I don't want to forget Alan. I mean, it's hard to – he never skated. He was a whack one at all. <laughs> Alan's a whack. <laughs> He's a whack. He would just go and – watch us just hang out yeah uh just post pictures on myspace for the <laughs> for a myspace for the girls <laughs> oh, <laughs> that i mean dude but he I'm, was always there <laughs> i'm throwing shade but the guy gets more girls than any of us <laughs> yeah i don't see it but it happens i don't see it i just feel like he's more handsome than everybody him and adrian but uh i think adrian's the most handsome he's a sleeper bro he, yeah just got like beautiful smile it's a little dark, but they all had abs. A little dark for my taste, but but yeah, like something about him just more handsome than everybody else. Yeah, until that's, you dude, take a look at me. So yeah. Fu- yeah, I know. And then you're like the lighter skinned handsome yeah. cousin, <laughs> and I'm dark as shit. Isn't that funny, <laughs> <laughs> dude? And then I remember we used to play basketball there. That was such a spot, dude. Those were the best times. Yeah. That was like we all were, day, every day, all day, every day, dude. That's all we did. We would get off from school, go to your house. You remember when spot. I skated from my house to yeah. your house? Instead of calling me, instead of calling you, I was so down for skateboarding. Yeah, dude. and then you we called me like, dude, I'm so tired. Like, bro, like, why did you call me from the start? You're already halfway there. <laughs> I just went for it, and then that I, was. I had my permit. Dude, my, you I drove your... the car by myself to go get you. Oh my! Remember was that, that when you had the suicide doors? Yeah. Oh my that god! That purple Accord. <laughs> Jose used to have a purple Accord. You've had the coolest cars, dude. You had that purple Accord at the time and had suicide doors. Yeah, it was and great that... at first. We got it painted purple. That was so much fun. Yeah, yeah, you did, huh? Yeah. And then it was sick because we, but but the spot was cool because we would walk to it from your house. Yeah. From the trailer, like we, we walked through the, the little... canals and stuff. Yeah. Because you used to live. Out by Morgan's in Summerton, yeah. for people that don't know, to, for like a mental thing. And I lived in Picacho, so when I skated from your house, I skated all from, the way down 16th Street, and then to the all from the, way to the fields, Ave, and then down to your house. Ave. Yeah, and we would go to your house every day after school, and skate all day, and then go yeah. home, and then you know my mom would pick me up because I had yeah. no car, and then uh, and we would skate, and then the summers were like that. Yeah, dude, I would sleep over at your house all the time. Oh my god, that room, dude. That room. Yeah, crazy. That room. 
That room. <laughs> that was when Mario got drunk for the first time. <laughs> Puked all over your floor. Dude, my guy, remember? So we got like, it was in high school. Dude, was, we're like all over the place. <laughs> we're, I know. I don't even care, dude. This is fun. When we were in high school, man, like we used to, my house when my parents would leave, I say it now, dude, it's funny because like when my parents leave, I'll text like, uh, I'll text my friends and I'll just be like, dude, uh, I'll be like, my parents left, what are we doing? All uh, grown up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, and they all have like their own houses yeah. and shit, but, um, you know, that, that room was so funny because like, or even just partying at that house because yeah. like Mario, that room is just funny because like, we'd hang out every day. In that room, we'd play Every PlayStation. We play uh, Black Ops. Play dude, Black Ops. The all, zombies all, all the zombies day, all day, bro. Oh my like, god! After dude. before we went skating, we play. Yeah, we come would. back and do it again. Yeah, that was. I mean, times are so much simple then. Yeah. You would never think now, you know, after all the years, you know, now our whole days are preoccupied by like. Like a lot of other stuff. I gotta yeah. do this. At, I got this is what I have to do at work, and then I I can't do anything else after that because you know I gotta go home. That's because the thing now with our days, we have to plan out our days. Everything is planned, dude. Yeah everything and i feel like you know my time is so scarce now yeah especially because you know being being your own boss like you have to like i have to schedule shit i mean if you want to really be successful you have to schedule shit you yeah. have to show up to everything you scheduled yeah you can't like, just move it like even though being your own boss is amazing you can if you don't want to work you just don't fucking work you yeah know? yeah yeah but uh that's how you ruin your your business. Oh yeah. I feel like working today. I'm not gonna go. Yeah. No, it's, you, you have to work even when you don't want to work. <laughs> do you ever get the feeling like uh, you know yesterday was Thanksgiving? Uh, oh. You know yesterday was Thanksgiving and then uh, today is like post Thanksgiving. I remember in high school like, and obviously it's different now because it's COVID and everything. Oh, yeah, different time. But right. I remember like uh, in w- like times like this, my brother would be down, families would yeah. be down, and. Uh, you know, you'd get plastered on things. We used to get yeah. hammered on Thanksgiving. Yeah. And then the next day there was like nothing. And you would just take like a week off. Yeah. And now like to yesterday, you know, yesterday was fun. We went shooting and I had like a drink a little bit. It was kind of like a day, like a day drinking thing. Yeah. But I was like, I got to stop, bro. I got to work tomorrow. And I'm like, yeah, like you during your, your time of being irresponsible and drinking. Yeah. Comes a time during that whole time. I was like, oh shit, I got oh, to work tomorrow. I got to work tomorrow. But it's different from like, you know, because, and it's different. And I would love to hear your point of view because like, for me, it was different. Like now, because I have to say I'm gonna stop because I know if I don't make the time to do that tomorrow, it's just gonna keep going back and yeah. back, and it's gonna drive me nuts it mentally. Does, dude, and it'll put you behind so bad. Dude, I uh, I got my wisdom tooth removed. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, dude. it didn't hit you bad though. Huh? You didn't get hit bad, huh? You didn't get. Did you get puffy? Yeah, dude. I had to take like two weeks off, but it's because I work outside. Did you, yeah, you can. So uh. I went to back to work within a week. Like I got it taken out on a uh, Saturday or a Friday. Yeah. And I went back to work the following Friday. I went home two hours later. Like, Fuck that. My face hurts. Like just oh, compulsing. Shit. But uh that put me behind yeah. two weeks. Oh shit. And I just got cut up right now. And that's dude, same thing. I feel like because I got COVID, like uh whatever people I already made an episode about it. Yeah. When I got sick, dude, it, I was sick for like a week and I was so pissed because all I could think about was like it's trying to get back. Yeah, and I'm going like, to work. Oh and, my god. And that is stressful. The list was piling up. The and thing is crazy that now you wanna go to work. Like, bro, dude, I have to go to work. Like, bro, I have yeah. to go to work. Like you stressing the fuck out when you can't go to work. Yeah. I know and I feel bad sometimes because like, you know, you we both have I mean, you have a wife, I have yeah. a girlfriend with a kid and like, you know Yeah. That has to be um, not scheduled, but like that has to be I have two kids. You have two, you do yeah. two great kids. That time has to be not scheduled, but like accounted for. Yeah, like, as well because like I mean, it was nice to be home, but all that time that I missed, I have to make it up. Yeah, and Alexis, like she has a job, you know, like a job elsewhere, yeah. and I'm self-employed. So like, you know, for me, like, and I love to work. Like, you know, I try to give myself the eight-hour basis, yeah. or at least at least, and it never, and it like hard right now is a busy season for me. So like, mm. it's always, but like. I don't even, my days are, are mixed. Yeah, you know, yeah. there's no, like yesterday, well, this is holiday season right now, so it's weird, but like weekends don't even feel like weekends. No, no, it's because you don't, you can take any day of the week off. You yeah. can have a weekend whenever the fuck you want a weekend. Yeah. It's, um, it's just that you have to get the work done. If you didn't get it done, you work Monday through Saturday, Sunday, yeah. and then you can take Monday, Tuesday off. Yeah. That could be your weekend. Like it doesn't have to be f- yeah. Saturday, Sunday. It's just because like society, it's, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Weird. It's uh, us. <clears throat> It's stupid, but it's it's called like the system thing. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. school thing, I guess. Monday no, through school, Friday. No, yeah, that makes sense. But I'm pretty sure they ingrained that in your head. It's some, it's reason to that. Yeah, and it's opposite for me because like during the week I'm less busy. Yeah. Because it's time for me to book, but like on the weekends, like today, 
today's a Friday. I have people that want to take pictures yeah, because, because everybody's off of weekend. work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, like, that's their free time. So I'm like, I never really get a thing. So, like, even, like, yeah. you know, today, you know, uh, yeah, I had shoots earlier booked, but, you know, they had to move them. And then I was like, okay, let's do the podcast because I, this is my, this is oddly enough my time. Your I, time, yeah, yeah. I love doing this. This yeah. is fun for me. But I have to tell, like, you know, Alexis, like, she'll ask me. And I'm like, she's like, what do you have going on today? And, like, you know, I'm working, but that can consist of, like, eight different types of things eight, from, like, eight different kinds of jobs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, like, I don't know how long it's going to take. So, like, yeah, man, it's weird. But, you know, the main thing is, like, the time management thing. And I've never was good See, at this the is time what stuff. I did now. Uh, if I really want to go eat lunch with Gabby or the kids, you got to tell me. I, I'll be like, I'll let them know in the morning. Like, I'll come back for lunch. Or, like, I get hungry, I'll call you on the spot. Are you, what time's your lunch? I'll go get lunch. I go eat it with her and go back to work. You got to go, yeah. Because, uh, or else I'll never get my job done. I was like, yeah. And, uh, like, when the kids have have to go to school, like, right now they're not in school, they're online. Yeah. But Gabby said, fuck it, I'll go to work even earlier. I'll wait for her to get off work, then I'll go to work. Yeah. So I have to change my schedule. That's the thing about being your boss. You could do that. Change yeah, yeah, your yeah. schedule. But I still go to work. No matter what's going on, I have to go to work. Yeah. Dude, I took my wisdom teeth out and I went to work. But, like, it sucks. It's funny because, like, you want to go. Like, I remember when I was That's like, the thing. You want to go. I remember 18 years old, first job. Like, fuck, I hate my job. I hated going to industrial, like, the yeah. second week I worked there, dude. Like, I, I remember Alex had that job first and then I had yeah. it. And it was fun for a while. But, dude, I just couldn't do... The thing is, sometimes you think you're into things until you actually do it. But that's why you have to do it. Yeah, to know, like, to, like, to <clears throat> put it aside. Dude, it wasn't my thing. I forgot. I don't know if it was you when you called me, but like, I or where, who I was having the conversation with. But we were talking about like, you know, while you're young, this couch is sick. Uh, it's green. That's, that's I know. Green. There's like these little side chairs I was gonna get at Ross, but because of Black Friday, they might be sold out now. But um, how like that that now that like we're 27, 28, right? Like we yeah. still we're young. Right. Yeah. And there's still a lot to learn. Like, oh, you yeah. know, there for me, there's a lot I need to, I want to accomplish to where I feel like an adult, essentially, you know, like having my own spot and all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, buy your house, buy a house, house, stuff yeah. like that. You know, that that's all coming. But, um, if I, ha I, but I have to do what I have to do, but like, you know, the younger years, like it's, that's the times to like experiment, dude. And, and learn, to, like, bro. make mistakes. Yeah, hell yeah. And they're not mistakes, dude. They're, they're yeah, experiences. Yeah, right. We should stop calling them mistakes. They're not mistakes. You learn if I mean unless you didn't learn from it, then it's a fucking mistake. That's a very good point. Cause uh my mother in law, like, she was like, Why why are you with my with my daughter? And I was like, Well, I didn't plan on being with her. I told her from the start I didn't want to date her. I remember that. I don't want to do none of that. And uh, she was like, when she's all like, why? Because of your failures? I was like, what failures? Well, I never failed in my life. What are you talking about? I've learned from everything. Yeah. Past girlfriends, all of them could have been assholes. But because of that, I am where I am right now. <laughs> like, that's the what, that's the reason I could treat your daughter the way I treat her. Thank God for them. Yeah, thank God to every ex-girlfriend. Like, seriously. It's for real, bro. No matter how bad you treated me, thank you. Yeah, even... Or I treated you, don't matter. It's Either just or. crazy because, like, in the time, it just, you know... It sucks at the time, yeah. Time just, but... But you learn from shit like that. Yeah, well, and they're not mistakes, bro. No. Well, what's crazy is like, um, you know, heartbreaks, bad experiences. Uh, it's it's kind of wild how intense that stuff feels, and it feels like how, in the moment. Yeah, how much it hurts it, at the time. It feels yeah. like it's gonna be forever. Yeah. But then you go back, like, you know, I document everything because I'm a photographer and I grew up. Yeah. You know, we, you know, Dude, you saw the evolution. No, like, yeah, I saw since you were drawing and went straight to photography out of nowhere. Like, yeah, just, but like we used to take photos of everything. Everything. Yeah. So everything's documented. So like, Dude, you know, we have videos of us like, fuck. oh my god, uh, but, I had a mustache. Yeah, <laughs> faded. My, my faded mom used hair. to call you bigote, Jose. Yeah. My mom used to call you orejas. Oh, fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Your mind was nicer. And then uh. Um, my mom used to call Alex Dienton. <laughs> Big ass teeth, bro. But like, yeah. uh, um, but just the memories, like you look back, like I look at like, I have photos of like, you know, me and my ex-girlfriend from high school. And yeah. then when I lived in Phoenix and then, or even like, you know, when you and I would go skating, you know, all yeah. that stuff, like I remember. And because like, um, because I was looking like recently because like, you know, my, one of my dogs, uh, my little dog, Marley. Oh, uh, I gave it to you. I know. Exactly. Yeah. She passed away not too long ago. And then Sorry. I was. It's all right. Yeah. But um, she uh, she was old, bro. But I was looking at old pictures and, like, you see shit. And I'm like, damn, man, that felt like it was going to be forever. Yeah. Or, like, good times, bad. Like, it's crazy. And it made me really think about. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. It made me really think and appreciate, you know, and to focus on right now. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, you never know, like, 
you know, with with the and it's and it's something minor to some people, but like you know, when your dog dies, you don't appreciate how much you loved your dog until, until it's, it's gone. gone. Yeah, and then and it's cl- it's cliche, but like you know, it, to whatever level people understand it for themselves, like all the memories that you and I had, all the experiences, you yeah. know, like I think about when I used to live in the fucking house with Marty and all that, oh, like dude. all my boys. They're miss Marty. I miss him too. And then um, uh, shout out to Marty boy. Yeah. Um, and then uh. Marty was on Stoke and Stroke a long time ago, but uh, that or even like just the the skate days in high school, like yeah. you would think that would last forever, and you just gotta gotta. I feel like it's so important just to fully ingrain yourself in that. It's because if it's something you really, you have to be open to change. A hundred percent open to stop doing something because it's inevitable. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Yeah. Um. So if you're not open and you go back and reminiscing on stuff like, oh, I used to skate so much, I don't do it no more. I wish I would. Yeah. Like I wish you, you don't. You really don't wish you would, or else you'd be doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. I know, cause like we talk about like, fuck, I miss skating. We do miss it. I do miss it, but that's not something that I. It's not a priority anymore. No. No. And it's fun. And like it should be fun, cause like and it's funny when we do go skate, cause we try to do all the shit that we used to do. Dude, hell, no, don't do it. No, don't guys. Don't try. If you <laughs> stop skating, don't go back. You can skate flat. I know. I know. Don't, we see Pedro on. I know. We see Pedro and the twins getting wild on Instagram. Yeah, don't. Yeah, it's the thing. You go and you watch the kids you used to watch when they were little, and, the, and they do some crazy shit now. And you want to go do the same shit, like Dude, bro. Pedro. You can't do it anymore. No, no, no. I can't do it. Every time we go, like I think I want to jump off the tranny. I'm like, this is not gonna happen. No, dude, my knees can't handle it. <laughs> no, dude. Back then, I weighed 130 pounds. I didn't oh weigh my shit. God. I don't understand. Like that's one thing too, dude. Thinking about it, like skating, I don't understand how we used to jump off of stuff and never get hurt. Never get hurt. Or if we got her, it just seemed like nothing. The next day you're ready. If I were to like get a cut now, I would start freaking out. <laughs> yeah. I was dude, like that though. Dude, I, I've you always, were, been, you like always been like that. But we go to the skate park, I take the slam and we get up and get skating. I get take the slam now, I gotta sit down. I'm done. <laughs> oh my god, I'm done, bro. I gotta work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I can't I can't get hurt. Oh my god. Being an adult's fun though, man, because like I and I still feel like there's a whole lot I mean, there is a lot of life to live, but I feel like now I'm starting to transition into this person where uh where i can you know come into change differently and i think maybe that's more what it's about because before you accept the change and i embrace it because like before uh it was it almost seemed like a life-changing thing where this could like everything felt like it could ruin you yeah you're you know like or you had this preconception in your or i did you know you have i had this preconception of my life of what it's supposed to look like from like even down to like my relationships yeah but it's because we were raised that way like not by our parents by like school like oh you have to study do this and do that you have to get a career Mm -hmm. i studied Went to school, got a career. My my head, I was like, oh, my life's going to be like this. At 18, I'm going to buy a house, buy a new car. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, start yeah. making kids. Yeah, like, making them. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm like, dude, none of that's happened yet. Like, yeah. Where the hell? I haven't bought a house. Still live in an apartment. Uh, yeah, I bought a couple cars. But, but that's okay if it's not that. Yeah, I don't, haven't made my own kids. Yeah. Which I'm okay with. Like, I'm going to make my kids someday. Yeah, I yeah, just, yeah. I'm being smart. I'm being an adult. I want to buy a house first before I make kids. Yeah, yeah. I want to, I just want my kids to have a better life than what I had. A hundred percent. And then, you know, and you, and that's, you know. And I was not grown it. I'm not, I'm still don't feel like I'm grown enough to give someone kids or to raise oh kids. Oh my God, me either, dude. Like, and I was thinking about it and, you know, cause Alexis is a kid and, and, yeah. and, and I'm no, you'll never be, you'll never be ready for that. You can never no. be ready. Kids and I remember when Ezra, card. oh, what happened? Oh, it died. Hold on. Pause. Pause. We got to pause. Shit. What was our last comment? I think, I don't know. It was, what were we talking about? Sorry, kids? the battery's died. Oh shit. I, I keep screaming. Yeah, that was loud. Sorry. Uh. Sorry, the batteries just keep dying, so um, we kind of just went for it. I forgot where we were. I don't know, man, but we can do this all the time. Yeah. We're talking about being adults. Yeah, making kids. Oh, yeah. Then making I still children? Did, I still don't feel like I'm grown enough to, like, raise a child. Oh, okay, I remember now. Ezra was, like, the first one of our friends to have kids. And yeah. And I remember asking him. I'm like, dude, were you ready? And he's just like, never. No. Yeah. And all the people that I know now, and, like, the more... You know what's crazy? Like, um... And this isn't no knock on parents, but like the more you're around people with kids, the more you realize that nobody really has it figured out. Hell no. Dude, nobody. And like not even like, but here's the thing. You're not supposed to have it figured out. Well, the thing is that your kids keep changing, bro. Once oh. you think you figure them out, bitch, you thought. Your kids keep changing. You change. Yeah. The world changes. Oh, yeah. So like, I don't know, man. And I agree with you because I feel like I have so much. And, that, and honestly, like being around my girlfriend's kid makes me want to be because I I had always um I hate when I say I had always but recently in the past couple like mm. when I was in Phoenix my last couple of years I focused really hard on being the best person I be I can be yeah because all I can think about is my genes yeah, yeah. I'm like shit 
like every all the habits that I have right now, if I'm like an anxious person, my you kids are gonna inherit that. But believe it or not, you do pass it on though. Exactly. So like, you know, and or even like the my uh my health, like yeah. my athletic, you know, how all that stuff. I'm like, I need to be healthy mentally and physically because these are traits that I'm gonna pass on to my children. Yeah. But even then, like most importantly now more than anything is like the way I think. That's the thing you wanna. I mean, you never, you can always, you're always gonna keep improving. I mean, if yeah. you keep working on yourself, so you can try and plan and have a kid when you're your best you. Yeah. But that best you is gonna change. Your best you is gonna change, and you're never gonna be ready. So like, and who knows, man? But like, you know, for me, even recently, uh, I'm like, I have to figure. It's it's really about like how you, like we were talking about earlier. It's like, how are you going to adapt to change? Yeah, the thing is that you need to understand yourself before you. Oh, try, God, to, try to make a kid to go out there and make a kid and yeah, have, you haven't even adapted to what's going on outside right now yeah because like not only having a kid but like that kid involves another person yeah and so, then whatever you te- teach him he's gonna remember or the way you guys speak or to each way, other yeah or just whatever's going on he's gonna remember that if you if like covid right now is stressing you the fuck out if you're stressed out he's your gonna, kids your kids are stressed out yeah your kids are gonna be stressed out i know man and i, I forgot oh i was talking to oh i was talking to jessica and colby because i took their pictures oh, yeah, yeah. Ago. colby's another one great fucking dad yeah great dad um both of them great parents but they were talking about um you know she, she, jessica was telling me about trauma mm-hmm. um just because she's like a she's a young parent she learns things and yeah, like, yeah she tells me stuff and it's cool but she was telling me about like how she was reading something or she was listening to something about like kids and trauma how like you know the things that they experience now like you know say say you and Gabby were like arguing about something you know which never happens because you're cool I don't argue in front of the kids That's you're a fucking man at that yeah. dude and I you know I need to be around you more but you know say that happens you know and if you did and because you know why not to do that oh, because yeah, those kids will inherit that energy exactly which is crazy because you don't think about that stuff no you do, dude I do my best to raise these two kids they are not my kids. But I choose I choose them as my kids. They're not yeah. my blood, but I love them as my own. Um, but they, ever since their real destiny uh, started coming more into the picture, they're hard to handle, dude. Well, because they're dealing with so many different yeah, personalities. Yeah, like, and I understand them like being so confused all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it frustrates me, but I'm not going to get frustrated and start yelling in front of them. Like, yeah, yeah, I just yeah. I keep it to myself. I talk to my wife about it later when we go to bed. That sounds cool. It's cool, huh? <laughs> it's, that's a grown-up Talking to shit. my wife, I'm like, whoa, dude. Yeah. Why? Yeah, and uh, so I do my be- my best. I, will, I do my part in trying to just push them in the right direction. Yeah. Obviously, whatever they're learning over there or whatever they're picking up over there, if good or bad, it's their choice to go the, whatever route they want to go. Yeah. I'm doing my part. That's all I can do. And uh, no matter how pissed off I get sometimes, like I do, I'm going to do my part, whether they turn out good or bad. Like yeah. my part has been done. And you know what's crazy? And like because you and I are not parents like you know we're not parents and and for like there's a blood thing that happens that i'm sure that we don't understand there's a different bond between a mom and her children yeah and i'm guessing a dad and i mean there's a different thing though moms are way yeah but then then you can say like that this is a different thing on dad things because i raised these kids they didn't really have a dad yeah no matter what everyone else says yeah dad wasn't around so i took i took the the role of the dad Yeah, yeah yeah Not on purpose. Something that happened. Well, that that role is like, is earned because yeah. like in my family, like I've seen so many people leave and people inherit different parents and yeah. like the figures, you know, people like, and even people that I know, like people call people father figures and not like you have to earn that shit. Yeah, because you you have to earn that shit. You have to learn from that person. That person yeah. has to be there when you needed them. You know. Yeah. So with my kids, I never called told either one of them to call me dad. They yeah. did that shit on their own. Yeah. And, I mean, it feels good when they call me dad. But I didn't make them do that. Yeah, you were very... They all started with Brandon not knowing how to say my name. Yeah. Or not knowing how to say anyone's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They started calling me Poppy. Yeah, I remember that yeah, shit. Yeah, and then uh, my daughter, like, she had just came back from a bunch of drama. Came back, like, that's not your dad. But And then we're like, yeah, but he doesn't know how to really say anyone's name. Yeah. So it stayed as Poppy. Yeah, and then, yeah. like, literally two weeks later, she's calling me Poppy. Like, yeah, it just worked out. Like, I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't make them say it. They just said it on their own. Yeah. But it's I had already been raising for, like, a year before someone decided they were they they wanted to be part of their lives but yeah. it, the problem with that is uh it's an ego thing you know someone oh it's it's a, they crazy. took my they took my role i want my kids back that's so you know it sucks because like for us not as parents and yeah. the other person you know like i sympathize oh uh, hell yeah dude i just i know if it's hard for me i know it's hard for my fuck wife. yeah and oh 100 bro i like in seeing you go through it it's yeah. helped my situation 
and I just try to be patient. But like one thing, no matter what, dude, like, and I've learned from you and being in my own situation is that, you know, and it, and I feel, and I'm not a parent, and like, and so, and I'm re- recently, I'm like, you yeah. know what? I, I'm starting to go against when I say like, I'm not a parent because well, at I mean, the end of the day, parent, dude, you're there. I'm if, a fucking person, yeah. and I understand people. It's like at the end of the day, bro. Like, it's if you're not a good example, they're not gonna want to be fucking around they, they you. They won't be around you exactly, or they're not gonna want to listen to you, no yeah. matter if you're their blood. Like, and and bro, that's the thing, though, dude. Some kids could be influenced into some weird shit. And but but you, that's the whole thing. Is like, yeah, as long as you do your part. The kid will, no matter where he's being influenced, the kid will be there for you. You gotta be you. Yeah, I gotta because be Because, like, I've seen so many fucking awesome parents, uh, like, so many awesome parents that, like, the kid does everything with yeah. them. Like, and not only me, too, dude. Like, I used to go everywhere with my dad, yeah. whether if I wanted to be there or not. Yeah. And, like, that's just how it was. Yeah. And, like, my I was involved in shit. And, like, I would always go places. And, you know, and I love my dad because, like, I was always just there. And my dad was the example. Like, yeah. my parents never fought in front of me. My yeah. parents always just showed me love. My my parents showed me a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like, you know, there's, of course, there's things you can do better, but that's where I have to learn what parts I would want better for my kids. But number one thing, dude, like, it's going to be hard for you to do the best you can as a parent if you're not good. Exactly. And, of course, you have to feed them. You have to do all these things, but. Is there a thing if you're not mentally there? Are you really fucking there? Are you really even there? Yeah. Exactly. Because it's like, you know being with them while they're playing and like not being on your phone yeah. or like, you know, and it, and it's like, like I said, I'm trying, I'm starting to like slowly get off of this because like, I always tried to be sensitive about not being like a, like a blood parent. But at the end of the day, bro, like being around like my friend's kids, your kids, my girlfriend's kid, like dude, <coughs> at the end, these kids are sponges, bro. They absorb and everything. The, bro. And like when they see you as a happy, successful person in your own eyes, yeah, you're happy with yourself. They fucking love that. Yeah, they want to be around you. They want to spend time with you. Like, yeah, I, you, you give a good vibe. Because and then exactly, and you have to do what you have to do. Mm-hmm. Like you have to go to work. You have to go do your things mm-hmm. because, and that's a good example. And then you come home and you're not in a bad mood. You're happy because you did what you had to do. Yeah. So like, and it's weird because, and it, it, it's like a weird thing to say, but you know, you're your best parent when you're also your best self. Yeah, it is. Even if your self is changing, just keep being your, yourself no matter at what level you're at. Yeah, and I, and like, I get it, your man. Your best self is what I'm saying. And I get it, man. Like, it's hard, especially when you're like a single parent oh, or like yeah. full-time. Like, the time to do things is just so minimal. Yeah, dude, I could not even fathom the shit that goes through my wife's head. Same. Like, dude, I if I'm going through shit when I, like, I keep it to myself, but it should bother me. If it's bothering me, I know it's going to be bothering her. Yeah. So it's like whatever I'm thinking, it's probably way worse for her. But it's yeah, but I don't know, man. I'm a harp, and I feel like it's so important for us to be to work to to still make time to be the best selves yeah, that as you, we can. Yeah, as you can. We have to go to therapy. If we have to do podcasts, we have to write, dude. Like you have to because like this next generation, like our kids, dude. Like we have to be the best people we can, especially like this new world that we're entering, the, yeah, the dude, world that our kids this are new entering. World, our kids are entering into a world of everyone being sensitive. So, and yeah, fuck yeah. So a bunch you, of me's, dude. Yeah, but no, worse, bro. Like, <laughs> way worse. But sensitive in a way where, uh, sensitive in, uh, not in a, like it's good to be sensitive. It's, oh yeah, not in a bad way. No, we're going into a world where it's sensitive to even say something, dude. Yeah, like you, I feel like this, the, the things... We have to teach our kids in the next generation. We have to learn this so we can teach it to our kids. To to learn how to speak to each other, yeah. to have a conversation, to not let your ego get in the way. Like yep. these are things that we should have learned in high school because we're learning them as an adults. But now, it's it's kind of crazy because I feel like our kids are learning just as fast as we are now. So they get, they cl- they're closer to the level we were when we were in high school, and they're kids. They're catching up. Yeah. So like, shoot, but can you like? I feel like generations down, it's gonna be wild because kids are just gonna become like. Be just as smart as us at the gate. Yeah, which sucks. I think it sucks. It I, you, ruins childhoods, bro. Dude, you got to Those experiences that, you know, that everybody goes through, like those changes that people go through through life. Yeah. You know, those make you who you are. Yeah. Like, whether if they're good or bad. Yeah, exactly. Like like we we're talking about breakups. All the ex-girlfriends, thank you to all of them. Appreciate you guys. Dude, they made me who I am today. No yeah. matter all the shit I've gone through, I am who I am because of it. Like, Yeah. Okay, cool. Um... I know, man. We'll we'll go ahead and wrap this up soon because I gotta go do yeah. shit. But um, but uh, yeah, man. Just growing up is wild, and uh, yeah, yeah. you were like the one per not the you were the best person I feel to come and talk to me about. Just like it's a, it's ironic that we talked about this. I didn't, yeah. you know, I don't come in here with a plan, but like, you know, 
we can talk about it on a level of understanding of each other yeah, that yeah. you know anybody else. So it's just crazy, dude. Like how life has just unfolded for us. It's just pretty much it's, you. <laughs> life opened the doors, and we just walked through the door, pretty much. Yeah, and uh, and it's, I'm I'm really excited to see and accepted it. We accepted it. What yeah. came? We accepted what came. As yeah, I never thought I'd be dating a girl with a kid. I didn't even think I was gonna have a girlfriend. I didn't want one. Dude. Yeah, you need to. <laughs> We're a wild, bro. Bro, I have two kids. <laughs> yeah, you got one. I met my girlfriend. Well, I met her at my wife as my girlfriend. I met her, and I told her from the start I wasn't gonna date. I her. remember that shit. Like, I, I'm not gonna date you. Like, we can hang out. We can do nasty stuff. We can do. We can, <laughs> we do, can do nasty stuff. But then all of a sudden, literally, she even she was like, "What? You asked me to be your girlfriend? Like, this is how it happened." You know, we were done doing our thing, <laughs> and I literally looked at her, or was it during our thing? It was during the thing. I was like, you're my girlfriend now, and she looked at during me. During like, the thing? Yeah. <laughs> I looked at her, and like, you're my girlfriend now. Oh, my God. You take me. Yeah, you have to fucking, you got to fucking grab. You're my girlfriend just now. Just grab what you want, bro. You got to be a man. <laughs> and she was like, looked at me, and was like, okay. You don't think there was, <laughs> okay. like, a better time? Not at the, not at the moment, there wasn't. You strong-armed her. <laughs> strong-weaned her, I dude. forced her into it. You strong-weaned her, dude. <laughs> and she was like, yeah. I was like, Cool, Let's, and then we could do our thing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Just stop. <laughs> stop. That's just, like a movie just to, scene. Just to make the make sure she knew she was my girlfriend now. And she <laughs> said, "Yeah." She didn't say no. I mean, I didn't tell her she she wanted to be. My I don't girlfriend. know. Dude, I told her she some, was my girlfriend. People say some wild shit during sex. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Good point. But it worked out for you. It worked. It worked. I mean, we had our ups and downs, but oh, I, yeah. I love where I am today. I love my life. I love my kids. I love my career. Yeah. And uh, life is good. You're you've always been Mr. Positivity and yeah. a big positive force in my life, so I appreciate you. Yeah, and I, I just don't you. I don't like to be negative. That's the thing. Yeah, and uh, I need to have you more in my life because sometimes I can get real negative. Yeah, I mean everyone gets negative. Yeah, you pulled me out of some holes. Yeah, dude, a lot of holes. A whole lot of holes. <laughs> a lot of buttholes. <laughs> a lot of butt. <laughs> oh, you ate a box of nerds out of a butthole. <laughs> Well, sick, dude. Uh, yeah. You're always welcome to be back on this thing. If I didn't have to piss my brains out and go on this show, we can do it for hours. But you're always welcome back on. But I love you and thank you for coming on. And I'm very happy to way, the way I've seen your life pan out. And I'm really excited to see how our lives pan out for um, for the future. At least where we are right now, yeah. And where we're going to be. We're going to watch this podcast in like 10 years and be like, what the fuck? What are we thinking? What are we saying? <laughs> Imagine our kids watching this. <laughs> They're gonna be like, you're not like that. <laughs> like, who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Who's that guy? Bring that guy back. <laughs> oh, I know, huh? I know. I, I was the last thing I'll say is, uh, I was watching this video of uh, both you and I, Alex. We were in the car one time. We we're all drunk and we we're all talking shit to each other. And I'm like, man, who are those guys? I don't even know those guys anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we just talk shit sober now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're growing up, dude. It's cool. Yeah, it is cool. We more ourselves every day. Yeah. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you. I love you. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. So You too. Thank you, this brother. This Thanksgiving sucked, though. I know. Nah. It's been weird. But yeah. I love you, dude. I love you, too. Thanks Thank for, you for having coming me, on brother. my show. I'd love to do this again. All right, guys. Thank you for listening to this episode of Yuma Scene with Hoser, my best friend, my lover. We're out.